Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm happy to have you here as always and I'm here again with another news video. I know it's been a while since the last one. I've had a little bit of a break, had a lot of things to do, but I'm back now and I'm going to give you the latest Liverpool news as I've been able to get it. And you know, there's stories here and there, some you can believe, some you can't believe. I'm going to give you a mixture of all sorts and my take on them. And of course, as always, get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I'm always happy to hear your thoughts. And um, yeah, before I do that, please, if you haven't already, hit a like on the video and also smash that subscribe button. We're slowly crawling up with subscribers, even while I didn't post video. So I really do appreciate it. But I'm back now and let's get into the video. So the first little bit of news is Arnie Slot is currently building up his backroom staff and most recently has appointed Johnny Heitinger. Now, if that name sounds familiar, he used to be a player for Everton, but he's come on board a part of Arnie Slot's um, team to be a coach. So that's the first bit of news. The next bit of news is the fact that Thiago has announced his retirement from football completely. Of course, he left Liverpool. He was released at the end of his contract this summer, but that is the end of football for Thiago and it's looking like he might go into coaching somewhere. I think there was talks of um, Bayern Munich or Barcelona looking to take him on as like a coach and get him his badges. So best of luck to him wherever he goes. And yeah, thank you for your service. It didn't work out quite as well as we'd hoped. Of course, he's a fantastic player. Just injuries just got the better of him at his time at Liverpool. Now, the final bit of news that I have for you is Liverpool had a preseason friendly yesterday. Now, I did not have a clue about this at all. I've been, I knew of the, ne the next few games that are coming, like the Arsenal United and that games that are coming up in America, but I did not know they had a behind closed door friendly against Preston North End. We lost 1 0. Arnie Slot's first game in charge. Of course, it's preseason friendly. You can't really read too much into it. A lot of players yet to come back after the Euros and Copa America, of course. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, the result, of course. Apparently, we came close, a few chances, but ultimately, um, striker or somebody for Preston North End scored an absolute weldy of a goal um, from distance. So, we lose 1 0. And yeah, well, on to the next one. Of course, it doesn't mean anything at the moment. Slot's just getting, getting to grips with his team and. Well, when the season starts, hopefully he'll be fully prepared and the results will be a little bit better. Now it's time to get away from the news and into the rumour mill. I like to separate it from the news because this is the bit where it's all sort of hypothetical and, you know, it can happen, it might not happen, you know. It's all if, buts and maybes and at the moment Liverpool's transfer window is looking a bit like an if, but and a maybe. Um, so let's get into the rumour mill. So up first in the rumour mill is Lenny Yoro has gone to Manchester United. Of course, I brought it to you that Liverpool were linked with him a while ago. It must have been over a month ago because that's when my last video was. Liverpool linked with Lenny Yoro, 18-year-old uh, centre-back from Lille. Only wanted Real Madrid. Only wanted Real Madrid. He's gone to Manchester United. At the end of the day, I don't really mind that. Um, United paid £52 million plus add-ons for the signature of an 18-year-old who well hasn't really torn up trees in Lille yeah it's, it's, it's a weird one um, you know if Liverpool are linked with him but then he only wants Real Madrid there's rumours going around that he was um, told that he would never play for Lille this season if he didn't sign for Manchester United um, because Lille wanted the the amount the, the money for him um, instead of him leaving for free to Real Madrid next season so United have coughed up £52 million Fair play to them. We'll see how he is come the Premier League in September 1st, I think it is. We play United, so we'll see how he is then if he's not on the bench. Next up is another negative bit of news, really, and it's the Trent to Real Madrid rumours. Apparently, he's laid it down that he wants to see where Arnie Slot is going for this year um, and it's given Arnie Slot basically a year to convince him to stay really if not he's going to go to Real Madrid and join Jude Bellingham and I don't know how much of that is true that doesn't sound like something Trent would say but if it is I'm extremely disappointed and a bit devastated at that I mean he is in my eyes he's always been absolutely incredible he's the scouser in the team he's the local lad we should be doing everything we can to keep him so now let's get into the the players who we are linked with 
Up first is Mohamed Simakan, who is at RB Leipzig. He is a centre back. He's 24 years old. Well, he's a centre back. He also plays right back, um, which is good. We do like a good versatile player like James Milner, Joe Gomez, um, even Trent to an extent. Um, we we do like that. I, I I don't watch much football other than like obviously the Euros and Liverpool. You know the international competitions I watch. Liverpool I watch. And, you know, the odd other game in the Premier League. So I, I don't really watch much Leipzig, but Liverpool have been linked with him. He's a centre-back. 40 million to 45 million apparently could get a deal done. We do need a centre-back. The likes of Matip has gone. Um, Jarrell Kwanzaa is coming through, and he does look brilliant. Um, like, I would much rather Kwanzaa to Lenny Yoro. But we do need just centre-back replacements. Kanate went missing for half of last season. So we just need somebody else there to fill in that place. Um, so, you know, if Kanate does go missing again, Van Dijk seems to have one good season, one bad season, one good season, one bad season. If he has another bad season this season, we're going to need a replacement. And somebody who's young and hungry, I, th I think it could be a very good move for Liverpool. Another bit of news that I find quite entertaining is Liverpool have been linked with Adrian Rabiot, the 29-year-old France midfielder. Um, We've been linked with him numerous times. I think we were linked with him about five years ago, then four years ago, then, you know, probably two years ago. This time he's a free transfer. Maybe he was free last time. I don't really remember. But again, he's international-wise, he's, he's brilliant when it comes to international football. He does look quite promising. But then when it comes to club level and he has to play, you know, a 30 to 40 game season, he just doesn't seem to have it. He just doesn't have that wow factor. I've never been a massive fan of him. Um, yeah, there has been links with him but there's also other people saying that, no, that's just a load of false rubbish. Just ignore that. I hope it is the latter. I hope it is a load of nonsense because we should not be signing him. Also, at the age of 29, it doesn't really go. I know we have done it before, but like with Endo, Thiago, but at the age of 29, it just goes against our policies, um, like what FSG really want. So hopefully that deal doesn't go through um, but yeah we have been linked i just thought it was quite comical so i thought i'd bring that to you next up is a turkish international baris alpa yilmaz obviously he lit up euros well for the games that turkey were there what's that group stage in the round of 16 he did look very good he looked tricky he's a right winger he's 24 years old he's a right winger he'll be coming from galatasaray and apparently around 25 million could get him now right winger that's the sort of position we need obviously to replace Salah um, Liverpool have been good before at finding gems and paying very little for them for instance Mohamed Salah was what 36 million I think we paid for him Firmino was 32 Mane was 40 maybe you know we paid under 40 million for them three and even Diogo Jota as well I think we paid under 40 and they were sort of lesser known players and came in and done and become world-class players didn't they is what they've done maybe that is something that we're looking to do with this fella again because other than him playing for turkey and he did play pretty well he did look quite promising i did watch um i watched one whole turkey game and then bits and pieces of the other i watched all the highlights of all the games so he did look a bit promising um just again it's that uncertainty of whether he will come in and make a difference um of course liverpool well, we've signed nobody, but we need to sign people and we need the right players in the right position. If he's the right player, fine, that's absolutely perfect. Get him on the team sheet. If it's going to be one of them ones where, you know, you're just taking a chance, I'd rather sign some, I'd rather pay a bit more and get somebody we know will do the job. Um, which leads me into the next player. The final player on the list is Nico Williams and of course we all we've all just witnessed what he's done in the Euros scored um, scored the goal in the final and has just absolutely lit it up um, across from Lamine Yamal as well on the other wing for Spain They're, the pair of them have been outstanding for Spain Nico Williams obviously just older than Yamal and on the opposite side but he's a left winger he's 22 years old he's young he's hungry release clause of 58 million could be done would not mind seeing him in a Liverpool shirt he'd be 
he'd be great on that left hand side it would free us up to do so much stuff and also if the likes of Luis Diaz does go to Barcelona or wherever he's planning on going you've got your replacement right there and probably a, arguably a better replacement at 22 I mean he's he's tricky he's quick he seems to have a lot about him at the age of 22 and he can, he's, he'll only get better but yeah if Liverpool can get a deal done for him that would be spectacular and also they, these signers that are brought to you are sort of in line with what we think well well i think anyway we need you know that center back we need we need that attack minded player i would really love a midfielder which is why i think we have been linked with rabio but there's better out there please god there is better out there so that is it for the rumor mill that's it for the news thank you everybody who tuned in i really do appreciate it um i'll be back again within the week um hopefully i'll be doing a video from a different country i'll be in the czech republic but i will plan on getting the news out next week again and maybe some things in between so thanks again for tuning in if you haven't already please do leave a like on the video hit that subscribe button welcome to the sas guys and until the next one up the fucking reds